All right, this is my no BS, no time wasted, top 10 zombie video games of all time. I made this list, as you can see, almost a year ago. It was July 2022. Since then, there have been a few things that need to be updated. Dead Space, first of all, came out with a remake, so this actually genuinely has to be updated. I think I'm finally ready to be a little bit more reasonable. It's not my favorite thing to do because it's one of my favorite video games of all time, genuinely. It's in my 360 top 10, but Prototype is getting bumped out of my top 10 list. And you know what that means. That means I have to add a game. So what am I going to add? I'm going to add the Telltale Walking Dead Definitive Series so we can play all four. That is really, I was not showing that enough respect. I went and played it. I need to play the other ones, but I only played the first one. It really is phenomenal, and it's a game changer. It's like you got to think about the impact it had. And that style of game, everybody loves that. I'm not going to touch my top three. Left 4 Dead is king. If you know, you know. If you enjoy killing zombies in a video game fashion, Left 4 Dead is just the best that there is. There is nothing better. But when you're talking about Resident Evil 2 Remake or Original, you're talking about Resident Evil 4, 2005, or 2023... Left 4 Dead I could go on about for days, and I'm going to do my review for Left 4 Dead very soon and some more Resident Evil games, so you're going to hear more about these games and why I like them. Left 4 Dead came out in what, 2007 or 8? It doesn't get old. It's insane. How does a game not get old? The mod community is insane. And it's not even for nostalgia reasons because I'm still playing it. You don't understand. I have games that I rate in the 9s that I don't play anymore. Like, I still play this game. This game is a gem. Resident Evil, though, that is as good as it gets. I mean, it might as well be tied for number one. IGN ranked the top 10 Resident Evils of all time, and they put Resident Evil 5 at number 10. I actually disagree. I think 5 is great. Really fun co-op. I had a great time with that on the 360. Video game zombie culture? Resident Evil has to be up there. It's number two. The Last of Us is number three, and don't think this is because of the TV show and Pedro Pascal. Like, don't think. That's not what this is. These games have been iconic. If you had a PlayStation 3, which I actually did not, but I saw this game at my friend's house, and it was always one of those games that I just, I desperately wish I had. It's up there. It's, I mean, as far as story goes, it's very good with the story. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, because I haven't even played these. Which And so for me to put it at the three spot, it almost kind of hurts. Because Prototype is so good. And I know, I know it's just me being, I, I, gotta, I gotta let it go. In the four spot, I'm making a huge adjustment. I'm moving Call of Duty Zombies all the way up. I'm talking about Black Ops. I'm talking about Black Ops 2, 3, 4. I'm talking about all of it. I don't think I'm talking about the Advanced Warfare Zombies. I don't think I'm talking about that right now. I never even played those. Which one was it even on? I don't even remember. I think it was Advanced Warfare, wasn't it? I never. I only play Treyarch Zombies. Let's get that very cleared up. But I'll, I, we can count the other ones too. Why not? Because I'm talking about full franchises here. When I say Left 4 Dead, I'm talking about 1 and 2. When I say Dead Space or Dead Rising, I'm talking about 1 through 4. The amount of fun I had in Call of Duty Zombies... It's impossible to not up it on this list. I had it pretty low before. It's the co-op and it's the impact it had. Those two things, surviving waves of zombies coming at you is iconic. I had so much fun with that on World at War that you wouldn't even believe. You would genuinely be like, that's insane how much fun he had. You wouldn't believe it because it was that good. And I, it's got to be at number four. I'm changing. I don't care. Let, leave a comment. Let me know. But I'm telling you, sticking with it. I won't be bullied into changing it. At number five, we got Dead Rising. That is one through four. Dead Rising also had insane impact because Dead Rising 1 came out in what, 2004, 5, or 6? I feel like it's 2006, but it was super early Xbox 360. That game, you're smashing zombies with bowling balls. It's the full mall. It's full Dawn of the Dead, George Romero shit, and it is so good. I, that game is iconic. You got to think about the impact with that one because it was early. It was early to the game. You can't think about Dead Rising now. It's like, oh, well, nobody plays Dead Rising now. I'm not asking what your favorite is now. We're talking all time. And it was popular at the time. I remember seeing a lot of commercials. Plus, I remember them using Dead Rising 3 as a big draw for the Xbox One when that came out. That was like one of those big games that came out. It was the Forza. I don't know if you remember that whole thing. I didn't really like 3 all them. I didn't even play 4, to be honest with you, which is crazy because I'm a huge zombie fan. Whatever. I'm putting it there. The sixth spot was really tough because the Telltale Walking Dead came out of nowhere. I didn't realize it was so iconic. But now Dead Space has come out with practically a 10 out of 10 remake. So we really got to evaluate this. And I did a little computing. I did a little evaluating. And it is so. Telltale Walking Dead at 6. Dead Space at 7. Dying Light at 8. I personally like Dead Island more than Dying Light. Now that Dead Island 2 came out, I think Dead Island is great. I gave it a 7.9 out of 10 on my rating series. Check that out on YouTube. I've always been a bigger Dead Island fan. Dying Light is just Dead Island with parkour. It's Dead Island with better combat. But for some reason, I like Dead Island better. 
Dead Island's got the clunky, terrible dialogue. The combat is super repetitive and real campy. But still, I personally like Dead Island better than Dying Light. But I'm willing to put Dying Light here just based on how much hype it gets. About a year ago, I had people vote on the most fun zombie game of all time, and it was Dying Light and The Last of Us, and Dying Light beat it. It blew my mind. It got some insanely high praise. And I played it, I think it's really great, and I feel like 8's a good spot for it, but let me know what you think. Just below it, just below it, we're putting Dead Island. So that's at the 9 spot. Super respectable. Dead Island, it's a great franchise. I know a lot of people hate on it. It's good. Have you ever played it? It's fun. And if you've ever played it with friends, that's when it gets really good. That's a good time. So if you haven't actually done that, I would go as far as to say you're missing part of the game. Because if you play COD with friends and you're thinking, oh, that game's great, but you play Dead Island alone and you're like, why am I not having fun? It could be because you're not playing with friends. You got to think about that stuff. At the 10 spot, I did something that I find to be a little strange for me. I was going to put Prototype there. If you've never played Prototype 1 and 2, they are really good open world zombie video games. They feel great to play. The powers that you get, it's unlike any other game. But instead of Prototype, as you can see, you've probably been looking at it this whole time for minutes here. Evil Within, I put it number 10. If you've never played Evil Within 1 and 2, those are really good games. I'm going to put out ratings for both of those very soon because I have beaten them. So all I have to do is make a review for it. I don't have to replay the game just to review it. But what are you guys thinking? What did I leave out? Because you're probably thinking, I made a game with zombies in it. You're thinking The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Plants vs. Zombies, DayZ, Days Gone, State of Decay, Half-Life. You better not say Seven Days to Die or Project Zomboid. No Back for Blood, no World War Z. Those two are phenomenal, but and we'll talk about those more, but not those. Killing Floor on the computer is good. You know what's really great? Red Dead Redemption 1, Undead Nightmares. That's notable, noteworthy for sure. House of the Dead Arcade Edition, that should be up there too. That's a classic. But that's the current top 10 as of June 2023. I'm sure I'll update it along the way. I'm going to play more and more games. I've played a lot since then. Before doing all this, making all these videos, I never played Evil Within. I replayed Prototype and all the Resident Evils. I replayed Re Left 4 Dead a million times. Dead Space Remake, Resident Evil 4 Remake. There's just been so much more thinking, so much going on. But that's the updated list. I hope you enjoy. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. So leave a comment, drop a like, follow, follow along with the man. Subscribe to your boy. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to mentioned Fortnite campaign. Look at all these gold guns. This game was great too. It was COD Zombies, rounds of zombies coming at you, but just Fortnite action. It was pretty good. If you're thinking about mocking me for Fortnite campaign, trust me, it was a very good time. I don't know if people still play it today. No clue, but that's worth the time too.